Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com.
Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the social medias here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Fresh off the plane just a few hours ago uh, from uh, from Florida, actually. Uh, had a fun uh, uh, weekend, actually, with our friends at SAE Aero Design. Uh, myself and Dutters went down there. Uh, Dutters not able to make it. She's got some stuff. she got she got to catch up with some stuff here after uh, getting back from the weekend. But we did attend Disney World, my first ever. So we're going to talk about that and some of the cool gadgetry that I enjoyed uh, out of that experience, too. Uh, so, yes, it might be a little bit of here's my vacation slideshow here later in the show. Show. But in the meantime, first of all, we have from the iPhoneography podcast and uh, co-promoter of the Roost Early Affair at RoostJoyAffair.com is yeah. Dave Bonner. Hey, Sorg. Thanks so much for having me hey. on. I mean, it's absolutely uh, Oh, what is in your face? What is in your face? It's all in your face. What is that? This is... <laughs> Eating on a podcast? Um, You're so bold. Oh, yes. So bold. Uh, this is a mint chocolate chip pushki from a bunk bakery say that again an oopsie uh, a pushki poopski poopski pushki pushki poopski yeah it, it it's spelled p a c k z i i think pushki 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 wow wow this is educational it's a, it, yeah it's polish it's Polish. It is all normally right. used to I... use up all the stuff right before Lent. So it's a very heavy, heavy donut like mm -hmm. thing that's filled with savory sauce. And they had for St. Patrick's Day coming up this weekend, even though we're in Lent, they keep selling it through Easter money. Um, so they decided to make a mint chocolate chip version. Wow. And yes, the thing is that freaking large. Wow. <laughs> head for scale if you're on video, by the head way. Head for scale. Head yes. for scale. Dave, head for scale. Um, <laughs> it's, geez. Man, um, that, the, the, thank you for that. That's educational. Sorry, I, I'm not good with the pushki. Uh, the only like I only heard a little bit of, uh, out of my three lineages in my families. Uh, I only heard uh, uh, no Polish, a tiny bit of German. And uh, uh, definitely a little bit more Lithuanian because my uh, my uh, great uncle uh, uh, would speak it to mess with my grandfather, <laughs> who was the first one born here uh, in Pittsburgh. So yeah, that's fun. Uh, anyways, uh, also we have a return. He is coming at us from Studio C in the Big D of Dormont, Pennsylvania. He's a 
the, the gadget guru of Big Bank International, <gasps> Wes Squire. It's been so long. I hope I remembered all the words to that song. Uh, it is John Chichilla. How's it going? Oh, God. How do I look? Coming to us from the <laughs> grave. What a floaty head John it's... Chichilla at, with us. Oh, you don't, I don't know if you can pan to the other camera so they can see, but this is not at the moment, but zoom from the Vision Pro. Zoom for the yes from the Vision Pro. Hold on a second. Let's uh, and, I, 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 I can't easily jump over there, but what I can do is uh, bump you into gallery mode so you can kind of see a side by side if you're on video here of uh, what's going on. Uh, yeah, there he is. There he is, side by side. And so we can see the lag too, which is kind of fun, right? So he's on the bottom of your screen here uh, with the, and that is an Apple Vision Pro you got on your face. Of course you have one. Of course you got your, your face on one. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you if you get a chance, I would highly highly recommend at least going to do the demo. Got to do it, absolutely. So the demo is free. It probably takes about a half an hour at the Apple Store. Mm -hmm. Um, it is pretty awesome. And when we get into awesome things of the week, we'll see. I've never tried it yet, but we'll see what happens if I share my screen. We'll take well, and actually, let's go ahead and just go and get <clears> into it. Let's get into your awesome thing of the week. Should I keep it on this heads up display, this double display here, to see what's going on for what you're doing, or should I go back let's... to the one? Oh, it's not gonna. It doesn't actually share. You're trying to share the screen. The screen. Okay. Uh oh, live testing. Live testing. And you can see the motion. He's I'll come taking. back. I'll come back in the future. Cause uh -oh, uh oh, I think you're coming at us from the future, from the looks of things. Missy, Missy. So everything, everything is like a. Oh, I'm calling tap. Missy over here so you can see, like what's, a, you see what's going on. What's that? I'm, I'm I'm calling Missy over to the screen so she can see what's going on here. <laughs> so everything is a look at something. Okay. And you like here, I'm going to mute myself. So I'm literally looking at the mute button inside okay. of Zoom. Okay. You look at the mute button inside of Zoom. Any headset. And I pinch. Mm -hmm. So when I pinch, it's like me clicking the button. Okay. Okay. That's I just, so that's how you, about. you kind of operate. And then I can, like I said, I'll have to come back. I'll figure out a way that you can actually so screen. You can see what I see. So inside, I have Zoom in front of me here. Yes. I have the show notes in a web browser over here. I have the movie Hackers playing <laughs> over here. Because that's what you should do if you have an Apple Vision Pro. Yes. And then I can click on the button. Uh-huh. And I can actually launch more apps in the background. That's amazing. So if you're on audio, so he's wearing the Apple Vision Pro. We haven't said that out explicitly here. And this is the the virtual Zoom kind of thing where it has kind of mapped his face, right? And and I'm, we're you know it's the eye gestures, the head gestures. His mouth is mostly like kind of connecting here. And so he's coming as like under two two Zoom accounts basically. Uh, and you, we're seeing like kind of one to one ish. Uh, and, and 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 again, I don't know if this is lagging the device. Or if it's lag in the Zoom itself, like we don't really know uh, uh, from what we can judge here. But like it is, it is interesting. So you're like, so you're like, you're like a floaty head. You're you're you have you have a shirt, but it's kind of fading away. I don't think it's the same shirt you're wearing though. So, so the the face I did a scan in was a was a collared gray button up sweater. Mm -hmm. So if you look, it should bring up my hand. I think. Um, yeah, there's my hand. Mm -hmm. see, yeah, we see it. your hand. Um, the on my shirt, there there were buttons and whatnot. So when you actually scan your face, you take the headset off mm -hmm. and you turn it around, and you can kind of see yourself a little bit in the center. Okay. Um, oh, your your eyes. And then, it by will... the way, your eyes just activated <laughs> when you did that on the outside. I, yeah. I, I don't know what you did. Yeah, there it goes. Is that the thing where I'm supposed to see your eyeballs or something? <clears throat> you can you can potentially like it has a pass through where you'll see if someone got real close to me, mm -hmm. they would actually come into like I can see it through the headset right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh wait, so the, it's interesting. It that, actually whited out your chin when uh, did you put it in front of your face again? I got you on the full screen. Yeah, I put it in front of my face. That's awesome. All right, you gotta give me just a really good like smiley pose so I can screen capture it for later. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's my. That's the show art right there. So, um, wow. So, how long have you had this? 
Um, and stop me if I'm asking a since... question you're not allowed to answer. <laughs> no, that's okay. Since, only since Saturday. Only since Saturday. Awesome. Saturday evening. And do you? And again, you don't have to answer. Are you allowed to keep it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> So it's mine. It's, okay, it's okay, my okay. Thank you for qualifying that. <laughs> <clears throat> but the one of the interesting things, right? So, in the recent, in one of the recent OS updates, they now allow device management. Mm-hmm. So there's a potential. I'm interested in how I can use this for work because mm-hmm. it's very interesting. From the coming as a Quest user to this, it's a much different format. <clears throat> like this is a window a windows not like microsoft windows but like a floating application based operating system so i can literally open up multiple apps and put them all around me and i can activate them by just looking at them um i was playing around with uh virtual machines and being able to remote into a, a windows based desktop um, while I had a movie going, while I was actually making sure last night that I could actually get into the show notes, um, and activate zoom. Mm-hmm. Um, so the one thing that I didn't test was screen sharing. So, um, no. that works pretty well. That's Quick awesome. question. Um, because I remember seeing details saying that you can use basically at iPad, um, apps in there. Can you use Chrome as a browser? Or so that's the interesting thing. Google Google has not allowed any of their applications oh. to pass through. They must have to go through some kind of certification. Huh. So I have TikTok, and I'm sorry, I'll never call it X. I have Twitter. <laughs> um, I have a bunch of applications that have gone through. Mm-hmm. They are definitely the iPad version. Okay. But extremely, extremely usable. Nice. Um you cannot get Chrome and you cannot, I was looking for Chrome and Gmail. Um, you can't get those applications. Hmm. They won't, hmm. they just won't install. If you, if you actually search for them in the browser, it'll take you to the installation page in the app store and say, it'll say this, this app is not compatible with the, the vision pro. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So it must be like they could make an iPhone app and make it iPhone only and not let you do it on the iPad. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, wow. there must be some kind of OS descriptor. So, a little, little stricter. Um, yeah. I'm hoping some of the like, there's there's work, definite workarounds, right? Like, um, D- Disney has an app. I haven't tried Netflix through the browser yet. To, I don't think there's mm-hmm. a Netflix that hasn't done no. anything with their app. Yeah. Um, obviously Apple TV, um, has an app. You get a kind of list of all of the apps, and then you have apps that are air quote compatible and they kind of go into a different folder but awesome. and the menuing system is pretty easy all i literally do is tap this button and i can actually see can you still hear me yeah mm-hmm. yeah. yeah i can actually see all of the apps and i can scroll through my app list um and then okay. if i want to go back i just tap the button again um you can take a rec- I haven't played around with it. You can take a recording by clicking the button that's up here. Um, there are cameras all down here um, and all along the top. Um, you can get some uh, menu-based systems by kind of like gazing way up, probably at like the 12 o'clock. And then pretty much all of the apps are can be navigated Um just by looking at things. I have hooked up a keyboard to it. The keyboard works extremely well. I am bummed right now that OS does not support mouse. Mm. Um like iPad does. They really they really want you to because they, they really want you to push those gestures. They want you to push the gestures, but there are certain apps like I was messing around with like I said a a, a remote desktop application to get to another PC. Mm-hmm. Um trying to use the gestures is extremely difficult. Hmm. I'd be willing to reboot a server with it. I would not type a Word document with it. We'll put it that way. Okay. Hmm. Or build a PowerPoint. I may actually type a Word document. I wouldn't. I wouldn't build a PowerPoint in it. Excellent. Awesome. So, so, 
uh, obviously you get this because you are you know, you you are a uh, a technology kind of futurist here, and you try to get uh, your hands on all the new stuff because you have some applications for it, uh, or at least figuring that out. Uh, uh, at what point do you recommend this? Like, who should be thinking about getting at this point? I, I, how, is it is it just people like you that are kind of looking for what are the applications? I think it's, if you're looking at the applications right now, I think if you're developing for it, I think yeah. those are our prime use cases. So no general um, consumer <clears throat> should be grabbing this thing or think they sh- that's, they're missing out on something like this. The, here would be an interesting thing. If you live, and this would be a stretch, like you would be, <laughs> you would literally be living in the future. But if you live in the Apple ecosystem, and all you do is type documents and build, um, uh, what's the keynotes and like that kind of thing. Like if all you're doing is, is, is the, a lot of those, that ecosystem or everything's very, very browser based, I would question even from what I've seen, um, could this replace your laptop? Mm-hmm. I don't think I would want to live in this eight hours a day. Yeah. If they made it a little bit lighter, it wouldn't be bad to to wear for prolonged. I would say, and I got to test because it comes with two different head straps. I want to test the other one. Um, two hours is about my break point. Mm-hmm. Um, for being able to hang out in here. Uh, but it's based on the the weight of the device, not based on Yeah. So we're not there yet as far high as strain goes. or whatnot. So like I you know, yeah. well, you know, as far as high end, there is a sa- there are samples online. Like I found a YouTube just now of somebody uh doing uh Final Cut editing. Um Mac Ray on YouTube showing Final Cut editing uh, in there. And I love he overlays the uh the the display of the Final Cut display, which is just a, and this must be the thing where you you plug in a laptop and you can just kind of use it as a monitor and ex- extend from there. Um, yeah, like yeah. I, so you can you, you, you know it it wirelessly screen mirrors your mm-hmm. Mac. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. but again, it, it, like it, it, then you have to have a Mac. Like yeah, to yeah. me, like and, I, I, be, and like I I could see a day where this is your PC. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So hey, that's what they're getting to. And that's what they're kind of stepping us into. This is an early adopter thing. Obviously, you are an early adopter, and now you're a floaty head. So thank you, Chilla. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm floating it. I'm like Let's the see. holograms in Star Wars. You, you kind yeah. of are, right? You know? Uh-huh. Hold on. Give me give me a, a help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. And there's the clip. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, one other the, thing. That's, um, the plans are not in the main computer. i have heard people uh who said that the other strap because for those on audio chill is using the one that goes kind of goes behind the head the other strap that goes behind and on top Mm -hmm. it's so much nicer but it but it doesn't look as good right it it definitely doesn't look as good and like i said i haven't worn that for a prolonged period of time like the back of this is really nice on the head, mm-hmm. but it's mainly like a top and bottom tightening. It's very interesting, right? Like the over here is the loosening, and it loosens okay. it, and Ooh. then you just turn it. AI tight. zoom. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the other camera. <laughs> oh, do I need to go back to the other camera? No, no, just that when no, Chilla was, a, was, was, was doing the tightening, loosening, the okay. AI camera was Bam. zooming in and zooming I really out. wish I had the multi-zoom camera thing set, set up now that <laughs> I've been trying to work on in the studio because this would be so amazing. I could picture and picture this if I had it if I had set up, which would have been the perfect well, week to do this. Well, and one other question, Chilla, for for your background, mm-hmm. is that something you selected in Zoom? No, right that's now, it, actually, it, it, I think, I think okay. that's selected. Let me double check. Meeting info, open window. It looks like you're like in a. It looks like I'm in like a, a room. Yeah. Yeah. You're not even like. I wouldn't, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't see that as a. As far as I know. And it's weird because the desk behind you is like. An option. You're partially translucent. Yes. Your body part that yeah. sits through the desk. 
and I, I kind of have to like lean way to the side to to get to centered. get centered. Yeah, weird. It, it's like maybe it's like the like I remember like from the. Little oh, bit you know office. what? I wonder. Hold on, let me try something. Oh, there we go. Oh, you repositioned okay. yourself. That was good. You just slid across the screen into the spot you needed. <laughs> that was great. So one of the one of the things is if it loses UI bearing of where you pin something in the room, uh -huh. mm -hmm. you hold down the dial mm. and it, it readjusts will reset, you. Uh, it recenters that's like okay. the oculus Thanks. you do a recenter that way too right or we're holding down on the yep. controller if i recall uh chilla you hold one of, yeah one of the controller buttons you, i i have the an, meta button i think you hold I, down i have an update um so you know, so the the awesome uh you you were fortunate enough kind enough to give me an old uh samsung s8 with the oculus um go i think it was uh, and I was like, you know, I got that notification. Riz actually has something in the news about how Oculus accounts are being deleted and you need to turn into a meta account, right? So I'm like, oh, I need to go do it. So I went to graphics because I'll be easier to update it, see if I could still even use it. Um, so I didn't realize how long I haven't used this, Chilla, but don't leave <laughs> a phone on a wireless charger for probably a year. Because the back the was coming dead. off. No, the battery swelled. And it's an S8, which means oh. it's not removable. And I popped the back off of it. And I'm like, oh, this is dangerous now. I want to put it over here. Uh, yeah, so I now have no headset to speak of. So, uh, yeah, we'll be. <laughs> so, But I do have a Meta 3 on my wish list. So, shit, and I'm looking at prices. Uh, anyway. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. We'll see how the season goes if it treats me well. Anyways, um, wow. Thank you, Chilla, for uh, uh, letting us experience this side of it. <laughs> awesome. So you are, are quite welcome. Are you? Is this going to be a regular? Are you going to come in this way from from now on, or uh, you know, or until you get sick of it, or? I don't think it'll be every week, but it'll. I'll probably come back and check in on occasion probably. if I can get a screen share going and kind of. When show you, you have what something cool to show off, you'll probably have it on, right? So we'll see if you're comfortable yep. during the duration of this show. That'll be a good thing. We'll, we'll put you. Well, on I'm the... gonna I'm gonna take it off because th there are some things like getting in. I didn't bring my keyboard down, so okay. I need to to navigate and to do some things that would have been super helpful. Awesome, but I will I. I will be back on the other. Okay. Other I, I think you can unmute yourself if you can't just like send, uh, the, the, yeah, the, just tell yep. me on here. Uh, so uh, we'll take a moment there. Uh, we'll get into an another awesome thing here and we'll see uh, how the face rings look on Chilla after he comes back, uh, I guess. So uh, Potter, um, yep. well, you know what? <laughs> But I must say, I, I, uh, you, when you I have a that, companion awesome thing, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Well, well when I saw that Chola had the, that on, I remember that story just came out not too long ago mm -hmm. that they're starting to use the Vision Pros in surgery. Oh, hey, they did this with the, the, the Googles, the Google mm -hmm. lenses, the Google thingy that I had. Uh, uh, yeah. The heck is it? The Google class. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, the Google Glass, the Google and I Glass. Think Oculus. Yeah, they, they tried it with Oculus too. I don't know what. So, the, of course, this being the new hotness, they're trying this and seeing how it works. Mm -hmm. So, it's the, the nurse do, used do it, the not the main as, surgeon. Have you, have, do, do you have to opt in as a surgery in order to do this? <laughs> Because I feel like if I woke up out of that and I saw I saw Apple Vision on somebody's face, I'd be like, I'm out of here. I don't care about my appendix. <laughs> yeah. What's happening? What's happening? Anyways, uh, but hey, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no problem. No, it was they say it was worn by the nurse and not the doctor. But it's the first time that the nurse worked with that doctor. But because of doing things ahead of time and being able to – and spinal surgery – um being able to practice beforehand it they say everything worked a lot better so it's one of these where the you know having a virtual slash augmented even though i know it's really a virtual reality but you know with the with the pass through it's almost augmented reality where training you know you literally could put this on someone and simulate you know doing surgery on somebody this, this reminds, and this reminds me um there was a story about uh, specifically about something with you know a plane uh company that wasn't not doing great things lately and they talking about uh, uh, a pilot simulator uh time and things mm -hmm. like that like like i can see that starting to apply here you know yeah. in a lot of these other other kind of factors you know like surgery you know uh, uh, uh practice on a digital body before you get to even the the physical one or or new techniques or things like that right 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the fact is that, so the scrub nurse had the glasses on, Mm -hmm. had the, had the vision pro on. And they said, uh, basically the surgery plan was on her screen at all times. Mm. So as the doctor's doing its thing, the nurse is seeing, because with the pass through, seeing everything the doctor's doing yep. and seeing, I don't know, is it a note or it's a it's an app called EXEX. Mm-hmm. Um, there, the nurse is seeing the surgery plan right there. Mm-hmm. That way, instead of having to reference a tablet or you know a piece of paper they're holding and looking, they don't have they have their hands free, so they can just look, see what's going on, see the surgery, see the plan. I'm sure there's surgeries where you can somehow hook in monitors or something else and have that right there in front of you Mm -hmm. maybe you're not the one actually cutting but you're doing well there's still assisting a lot of this the procedures involve like a monitor that sits there with like a scope Mm -hmm. or something if there's like they need to kind of like see inside and see what's happening on and follow on with that Mm -hmm. so i mean i could see that kind of building in you know kind of like a monitors over here kind of like how chilla was where that final cut guy was you know arranging things you know okay this is over here it's always in my vision but 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 you know but but that's also something that needs to happen when the pass-through gets better (laughs) right like like the resolution now, that's one thing i wanted to ask chilla was it... how was the pass through looking out mm-hmm. the pass through looking out is i will be honest with you is night and day mm-hmm. from the quest so you're saying basically it's that good then it i'm is... not familiar with the quest and okay so it's is. it's pretty close to looking through your iphone mm-hmm. um <laughs> You can tell. There, it's, I, I understand. You can tell it's screens, and it's not the. You know, it's not one to one, but it, it and the, and but it, it, I feel like there's it's like, definitely a screen, but yeah, it is not pixelated. It doesn't get weird discoloration or weird dark spots. Mm-hmm. Um, Sounds like a better lens. I think it's a combination of the lens, and I think almost more importantly than the lens is the the displays on the inside. Yeah. Um, they, the screen resolution is high much resolution. higher. Yeah, yeah. The thing that I don't like about it is you can't wear it with glasses, so you can tell I have contacts in. Mm. Um, I am ordering, because I'm not a huge fan of contacts unless I'm wearing some glasses at the beach. Um, I am ordering the lens, mm. the magnetic lens um, inserts. Interesting. So I, I have, okay. So you I, didn't get those before. I have a side question here. Was, we're you talking to, about you have to order those. You can't buy them at the store. As, as we ah, uh, as we we're talking about how you know wh- who should be using this. Uh, mom, mom Sorg, Mama Sorg is in the uh, chat room right now. Uh, uh, what could Mama Sorg be doing this now? Now also, uh, 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 my mother is also an AutoCAD <laughs> designer, so maybe take that into a factor too. Mm. Um, but but what you know, what 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 should, I'm talking about? Mom into getting one so. <laughs> <laughs> I would be I hypothetically. Would, I don't think it'll be too far off till, you know, CAD being able to walk through something like that. Mm. Um, that's the one thing that, like, I feel is a differentiator. Like, I feel like a lot of the applications on Quest you launch, mm-hmm. and the application is running full screen. Yeah, and I have not, I have not been as enticed to actually try out or test a lot of their business productivity apps mm-hmm. where is this because it's more augmented reality and windowed it makes more sense it makes yeah. it seems to make way more sense and i also feel like i can't imagine trying to run netflix in combination with like one of the other applications mm-hmm. at the same time on quest it just maybe it, i guess if you if you picked up an android device today and used it compared to your iphone and i'm not it's not a knock on android users no but it's i just feel it's like different. there's that little bit of clunkiness mm-hmm. and it's not as buttery smooth and you're talking, and you have, you typically have very good Android devices. You don't have the cheap one that I use that frustrates the hell out of me. Yeah. yeah. But even like, I, I will say like going between apps, like if I have too many apps on Android mm-hmm. and I get it right, they're all running full tilt in the background. And, mm-hmm. but like, I just feel like there's that. And Meta's working on their own 
from what I understand, their own OS, but it's still based on Android and it still gets a little weird. Mm -hmm. um, and I do not like the account system. If you try to put multiple accounts on the device, it gets oh, really. Oh yeah, they're. I mean, iPad's not great quirky. with that either. I think they've just maybe have gotten to that point. But anyways, all right, moving on. I got an awesome oh, thing. And oh, Sork, mm -hmm. before you before you do your awesome thing, yes. Uh, just because this was mentioned, I just want to get the numbers out for pixels pixels per inch. Uh, a Galaxy. Uh, Samsung Galaxy Ultra is 501 pixels per inch. Mm -hmm. An iPhone 15 Pro Max is 460. And the Vision Pro is 30, uh, almost 3,400 pixels per inch. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, so you're looking clarity. at, you're looking at like, what, uh, six times the pixels per inch? That's why you're not seeing any pixelation. The pixels are so small, even though they're inches away from your face. You're, there's no way you would see pixelation. Yeah. You don't get the screen door effect. Yeah. So we're running late in the show. I'm realizing, yeah. and we're still on awesome Sorry. things. But we had a lot. We had that. We had a really cool, awesome thing to talk to to talk about for the first time. So that's fine with me. Anyways, uh, less interesting now. <laughs> Uh, guys, uh, yesterday I went to Disney, a Disney park for the very first time in my life. Well, which one? We went to the Magic Kingdom, uh, Dutters and I. Dutters is a, a little bit of a veteran in comparison. Well, yeah, she's been there like three times maybe. Uh, so I was like, help me. Cause the, okay, let me back this up. This is going to be a general kind of travel thing, but, and I'll talk about the cool tech thing I played with, but, um, I, you know, I generally, because this is technology, like I'm, I'm rewatching the Imagineering story because now I have context and I've seen some of these things in person. So it's really cool to kind of like see the Tiki Room, like like them talking about it starting and, and then Carousel of Progress and things like that, right? Which is a whole, we could do a whole episode on the Carousel of Progress, I feel. Uh, but anyways, um, but uh, um, I was always uh, uh, over anxious to go to Disney. Let's put it that way. The cost versus I would always hear about like getting the reservations to do this and that and the other thing and it's busy and blah 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 blah. I just I would hear like like all that stresses me out. And if I ever have the opportunity, like you know, a lot of times we'll have an opportunity of like, hey, we have an extra day. Let's go to a park. Let's do so something different since we happen to be in this part of the country, right? Uh, so finally, we did that. Took the big swing on it. Went and did it. Dutters was my guide. And was literally like like helping me guide me through the park and say you need to do this and then you need to do this and then you need to do this to help properly Disney right. So, um, so that's my my, my kind of starter on that part. Uh, it was wonderful. It was better than I could have imagined. I you know I don't know that I had the highest of expectations or maybe the the visions I had of the park were from the old you know seeing old reels of things like the old rides and stuff and I was like you know I don't like I I wanted to see I wanted the Disney experience which I want to see the castle I want to see that um yeah, and I may have teared a little bit when I walked out and saw the castle because I was just like I never thought I would get here you know I never thought I would have an opportunity to get here despite the fact that I've been in Florida about five times in the last three years um you know things like that uh so that was really really it's so it was so much fun to see Tomorrowland it was so much stuff to see the stuff I've seen in like video games and um also growing up like I don't know if you guys experienced this but um ABC always had the wonderful world of Disney on Sunday night and they would do features on what was happening at the park and things like that around in a lot of those old properties. You know, we rent those from the theater or not the theater from the video store and things. So like, I am very familiar with, with a lot of the old Disney, like especially the old Disney. Right. Um, so it was very cool to see all that stuff kind of in context and, you know, juxtaposed with, we went on the Tron ride. Holy crap. <laughs> it was a fun ride. Everything you go on is, I have no expectations. It's in a building. You're in a queue. You get on a thing, and you're like, oh, my God, that's what that ride was, right? Like, I had no idea what Space Mountain actually was. You see, you know, there's no if one, there's no way to, way to visually see what it's going to be like before you actually get on it because it's a dark ride, right? It's a roller coaster in the dark, basically, right? Um, but uh, even we got on the People Mover, and there was a lot of fun stuff in the People Mover where you're, like, riding through the Space Mountain and stuff like that and other rides. Uh, so that was very, very cool. 
the the experience is is top notch like you know running into every cast member employee there um you know was was really cool uh Dutters had a celebrating uh being cancer free and i there must have been she must have had like 30 people say yo say congratulations to her and this is this is cast members and and people like just in the park you know um so that was very very cool uh, you know, did the Tomorrowland, did the Tron, uh, did I? We did the classics. I was like, I wanted to do everything they have a movie for: Jungle Cruise, Haunted, <laughs> Haunted Mansion, you know, things like that. I actually watched the Eddie Murphy Johnny, uh, Haunted Mansion this morning, and it makes a lot more sense now. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's why you do it, because if you don't know, the, I mean, that, that, if you don't know the context or things like that, right? Um, so, and of course, like as far as the technology that goes into it, other than the, like the 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 audio animatronics that they do are incredible the special effects in the haunted ha mansion i want to ride that thing three times in a row just to try to pick out things going on there i was trying to figure out if i was seeing a projection or a physical thing half the time and not really paying attention to what was happening when i'm going through that thing um so and, and, and chilla you're you you've done disney experience right i've done so what have i done i did the sea world and i did what's the where is the Star Tours? That is actually at Ho at the Hollywood Park. Hollywood. Okay. Which used to be MGM. Yeah, it used to be MGM Studios. I think. And way back in the day, I did Universal, where the Back to the Future ride was. Oh, I don't think they have that anymore. They don't I have think, it I think anymore. it was at both of them, and they don't have it anymore. We did do the City Walk, and I'm I'm amazed at uh, it's very like definitely a different vibe than the Hollywood Universal Studios. We didn't go in on this one. We, we might maybe maybe in the future. So, um, so I did pick up a Magic Band. Because you need one. Oh, you don't need one actually. It's kind of nice actually because you can do, uh, you can put your pass. I guess you can get a physical version of it, but you can do a pass that does mostly the same things that's on your uh, iPhone, uh, and I imagine on your Android as well. So this is like this is how I got in was this pass, right? You tied to your account and everything. But even like you know, Katie had her magic pass from last year, and that's how she like you know the ticketing and things, things if you're doing the lightning lanes and, and get in. And we had a good opportunity. Like she she actually was given the lightning lane for the congratulations, and uh, we actually had a, a thing. Uh, we had a, a Dole Whip incident where uh, we had to go get some and we thought we were running out of time and we thought there was like 30 or 40 minutes of wait and we, and we didn't know if we had enough time. So we said, we'll, we'll finish it in line, walked right up to the jungle cruise to the boat and we're like, oh God, we have all this Dole Whip to eat and they won't let us on the boat. So we left <laughs> and they, they saw what was going on. It's like, take your time. We're going to give you a magic pass in case a line forms. <laughs> So and then they put it on the account, like they scanned this thing, and that was great. Uh, the other cool thing that happened with it, and I think I have this lined up here. Uh, I'm not going to get real slideshow to you on here. Um, the cool thing, so this is the Mag Magic Band Plus. So it lights up and it vibrates. Um, I guess uh, what? Yeah, I guess I experienced uh, versus <laughs> the last one, like because they were talking about like charging it, and, and Katie's like, "Well, I don't, I haven't charged mine yet," or you know, and and I realized that this is the newest version that I think they they put out last summer. Uh, and if you're on audio, I got a Star Wars one that's got some uh, Darth Vader on it and everything. So so that's pretty cool. And we're looking to go to Disneyland here in a month and experience the the Star Wars stuff. That's why we didn't do Hollywood this time. Uh, we got a very cool plan and a very cool guide out there that's probably in the chat room that I can't wait to hang out with um, out in California uh, that to, 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 to help with that experience. But um, but you could go through and like I didn't realize the full breadth of it because there's a there's a Disney Play app like we're in line for. Uh, Space Mountain. It was a good hour, and there's like codes and stuff, and a game, rocket game, and like, and you play with the second player, and like, like we're like, like trying to match these colors and stuff, like both on the same phone, like on, you know, opposite sides of it playing. But also, when you go in there, there's something like called Fab Fifty, and I, how I found out was I walked by a Winnie the Pooh statue that I didn't see. My wrist buzzed. I looked over, and I'm like, it's Winnie the Pooh, which is like the one I'm looking for because it's my wife's favorite, like Tigger and everything. Uh, so I'm, I'm always looking for the Pooh stuff. I'm always looking for the poo um and i was like what and then like it buzzed and i was like oh cool there's a, there's a thing and i'm like wait a minute i think there's something to it because then we walked into the center for like probably the second time of the day and i realized there's a bunch of them and i was flipping through when i bought this thing about like waving at the statues and things would happen so there's a game called fab 50 and there's like 50 characters they're golden characters throughout the, the thing so there's mickey and minnie one of them that i found so you'll walk by and you'll buzz it, it just lets you know there's something there and then you put it on and you wave at it right 
and it'll buzz again, but then a sound will play. It's either the characters talking to you. Sometimes there's music playing. Um, it was really cool. So there was um, something like 16 of these or something like that that we found. And then when you go into the Disney Play app, um, it downloads an AR thing that turns into this door, and I can see if I can do it here. But while while I'm kind of working on that, so uh, so yeah, there's some of this. There's the Dumbo. There's a there's a stitch. Sometimes you're on a wall like this, or up on something else. Uh, that was very cool. So uh, and I'm going to see if I can actually pull this up here. Um, but this is actually wait. This is actually a video of me. Uh, this is a, this is a video of it. So you can see a little bit of the motion here. No, geez, no, no, no. Space doesn't do the same thing here. So there you go. You see me waving at it, and then there's like a, a stitch says something, and you got it, and we move on, right? <laughs> so I'm having so much fun. Um, but yeah, that kind of that's kind of the idea there. I won't spoil the rest of this stuff or where these guys are, um, but that was kind of a fun thing. Um, so just give you a little bit of what this looks like on the other side here. Um, let me pull up here, and this is the app. And you go into your, uh, let's say, well, container request and load that guy up. You got, um, let's say we got, I don't know who's a good one to to grab. We'll go with Winnie the Pooh because we, oh, we haven't done that one yet. Oh, Winnie, does, Winnie the Pooh doesn't have an AR one. Who else had one? How about Abu from, uh, where's the monkey at? <laughs> where's the monkey at? I know this is great for a podcast. I can't find the monkey. Guys, I can't find the monkey. I know it's in here. Let's try this one. There we go. Download, deactivate, does its thing, and great for an audio podcast. Uh, but you get a little bit of, I should have got one that was downloaded. Oh, no. We're stuck. We're stuck. It's trying. It's almost there. There we go. There we go. All right. I just got to go into AR mode here, and we're going to find a wall. There's a nice wall. Let's put it put it there. Yep. It's gonna open the door, and we can see inside and see a unit, a little animated Chippendale oh, hanging wow. out in there. They're throwing yeah. nuts at you. They're throwing nuts at me. Uh -huh. They're throwing nuts at me. I got sprayed with uh, Tinkerbell tix, uh, pixie dust uh, b p uh, magic. Uh, there now they're all loaded. So now we can do that, and now we can look for the elephant. I don't know where he's at. Where's Dumbo at? Yep, it's flying by. Help. It's flying by. It's flying there by. Goes. And I can get closer and like look into it and stuff too. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Ooh. Very fun. So it was a nice little added out. thing. Yeah, my battery's <laughs> run down. I was just I was just listen, I had I had only hours to sleep in a, in a in the hotel after this. A new hotel closer to the airport. And uh things didn't get charged up very well. But very cool. These are um I think these things start about thirty five bucks and they go up to like sixty some. I think it was a forty five dollar model when it's uh you know, something more specialized like a Star Wars or something. And it lights up and stuff. You can change the light up. Apparently, um, during the fireworks display, uh, it'll light up in sync with everything. Um, like we talked about with like the Marvel thing when you grab um, like the, the little Iron Man things, that'll that'll do that. Um, we didn't get to <laughs> we didn't get to the fireworks because we were in the line for the Tron cycle because our queue came up. Um, but uh, there's a lot to it, and of course, you know, if you go to Disney parks and you plan to uh, several times, like we're going in a month, and this will, there's a very cool, I guess, uh, meta game with a. Uh, uh, like a bounty hunter uh, thing with the Star Wars world that you can do, uh, so it it goes the other thing. Plus, if you have magic passes, anything you can you can sign it up to pay pay for things. And you, I mean, you can also use your phone, of course, but it's kind of fun and magical to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so it and it does work in concert with Bluetooth with your phone. So it's actually your phone doing a lot of hefty lifting. Uh, there was a thing with the photo passes um, where it will pick up your picture based on where it sees you, you know, kind of thing. Although we were having trouble, I started getting other people's photos. <laughs> so I don't know if you've had that experience before, Chilla, uh, at any of these, but um, yeah, that was that was really weird. Uh, oh man, I think I, I think I did uh, delete the Disney World app because I was kind of worried about leaving these on here. Uh, but we'll play with that here in a little bit. Um, but anyway. I haven't seen that. I haven't been there since they introduced the band, so I'm very. I do want to get get there someday soon. I'm interested. You were saying, do you do you? Did you say you can charge the band or Yeah, yeah, you got you have to charge it because uh for all the light up and everything and there's a there is a charger. There's a little where did I put it? Oh no. Is it like your is it like your Apple Watch charger yeah, yeah, or is it's it kind of like... like an Apple okay. Watch charger? It reminds me of the mm. Pebble one actually a little bit. So it kind of snaps around here and it's a very, very I mean you can they have replacements you can buy online. Uh I would imagine, but uh it snaps on there, you USB it in and you're good to go. 
So um, these things are like a lot of places throughout the, um, and they're very collectible. So uh, I know Katie has a, has a couple, including she has a Boba Fett one. Uh, she was hoping she could uh, ha- like hand me hers, but the, but when they link to your account, they can't be relink- relinked. So it's a very Disney thing for them to do. Um, I do not like these as much as I, I kind of liked, although it was kind of, that one was also awkward. The Yoshi one I got for Nintendo Land, so it's a very similar situation, right? You go up to things, you interact with things. You know, of course, I think the Nintendo thing was very. Um, uh, there was a lot more to it, it felt, than this. Uh, but there's a lot more you can do. This ties to a lot more things, like the Nintendo one. You could do in Nintendo World, and that was it, right? You know, and again, hope you know. Ideally, I can come back when it opens in Florida and go do that, or when the Donkey Kong mm-hmm. World opens up here in the next couple of years, right? I can go do that. Uh, so, by the way, I saw a little bit of a preview of that from the the Japanese one. So, I got, uh, there's bongos. There's a big, big, big Donkey Kong bongos uh, <laughs> they have going on. So, um, But, yeah, so that's my thing. Uh, Magic Man Plus, um, Disney, God, it's expensive, but it, actually it's not bad. I mean, the, 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 the ticket is like... 185 for the ticket, right? Um, but comparing to like, I think we did like 140 for the Hollywood Universal. Um, it's somewhere in between that for Universal Florida, like you know. But it's an experience if you go with a with a good mindset and a good. I'm not going to do everything. You kind of play the day smart a little bit. Use the app to figure out wait times. You know, we didn't we didn't magic lane other than where we acquired magic lanes for uh, just reasons, partially because Katie's awesome. Um, you know. It, it, it's it's uh it, it's a really good experience it can be a, it could be a horrible experience too don't get me wrong i was reading horror stories going into this it's one of those things that you know should i get genie plus well i'll do this and then you're over house of park and do this that's different when you're dragging three kids with you i'm sure you know or probably even one kid you know but uh katie and i were the two kids dragging each other through it uh so that's a different experience <laughs> entirely uh so if you're like am i too old for disney the answer is no uh, but it was. Uh, and side note, I saw a a a a, 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 gran- a grandmother in a cart uh, ramp a. Um, I gotta sign that. Uh, sorry, I'm getting paperwork during the show. Uh, so <laughs> apparently, you need permits in California to film at their parks, and that's been a couple of years. Anyways, what was I getting? Oh yeah, I saw some grandma in a, in, in one of those uh, scooters uh, uh, ramp the curb right in front of the the, the Cinderella's castle. And <laughs> and goes by and says, "I felt like even Knievel." <laughs> Disney's wild. It was great. I love what they're doing there. It's fun. I'm I'm going back and watching the Imagineering story and to see the uh, uh, car- pro- carousel of progress. To see the Tiki Room, which Katie had to make sure I went in there. I love. She never told me what the what the carousel of progress was. Never told me about the Tiki Room other than we had to go into it. And it was so much fun to just experience those blind and having no idea going into it. And, and again, just. It, you know, we're both looking at that. I was like, how'd they work? How they did that? Oh my God. You know, that, that kind of stuff. And I know there's a lot of cool mechanics and stuff, uh, that goes into a lot of those things and some hilariously old things. Cause a lot of these things are, you know, of course from a, a, a long time ago when this park opened in like the seventies. So that's my Disneyland rev- world review magic kingdom. Um, I'm already looking for opportunities to go back and see the other parks. Cause that was so much fun. Uh, so that's, that's it. I'm, I just became a Disney world nerd, uh, over, over this week. So I'm sorry if I talk about it a lot. My wife is, always, I would have, my wife is I already sick of it rec- and I went yesterday. So <laughs> she's gonna I would it. highly recommend. And I, like I said, it was, it's probably been 10 years since I was even at, it, that would have been probably 10 or 11 years ago. Um, I was at SeaWorld. Um, that to me was a phenomenal experience. The, mm-hmm. Because like every wait for every ride is like multiple fish tanks that you're walking through. Oh, so, nice! Like it, it, like you didn't mind waiting in line, kind of thing. Because yes. like there was, same kind of like you were saying, like there was games like there, there was yeah. something to look yeah. at every step of the way. Same here. To the, to the point where like if you were, if there wasn't a line, it was like I don't want to rush to get up to the front because I want to take in what is around me that was my take too because we're sitting in space bound and it's like god it was an hour and but i'm playing the game and doing this and looking at things and i'm watching the lightning pass people like just blight blaze by a tron the same thing you're, you're in the um it's a virtual queue and you could lightning pass in but still there was like but you get to sit there in the experience right 
and really kind of immerse a little bit. And and like I even counted because uh, it went through the like we you know there's the outside queue and then you go to the inside queue and that's where they're reviewing the safety and things. And I was like counting in my head how many times we heard the safety review, um, and it was like three or four times. Right. It wasn't enough. That it was like, oh, my God, I get it. Optimus Prime. I got to oh, close my lap bar, you know, kind of stuff <laughs> like it's Like the timing is so well done. And to catch the, you know, the little tricks they do, um, you know, even small world. I, I didn't I only thought small world was going to be the stupidest thing. And it was just it, like as soon as and this is a very localized thing. But as soon as we, we like rounded the first corner and I saw all of them moving, I'm just like. Katie, this is like Cranax on crack. And if you don't know, Cranax was a thing back home. It still exists, actually. And it was really big when I was growing up. And it was, they have a tris- Christmas tree uh, Christmas tree lane. God, is that the right thing? Um, but, you know, they have all the Christmas trees, and they had animatronics, which is basically like Care Bears, where the head was moving with tinsel, uh, 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 you know, and their arm moves back and forth. And that's about it. And maybe the maybe – the, and they had one – a uh, uh, human-sized Santa that says Merry Christmas. That was really creepy. You know what? You know, that kind of thing. And I'm just like, oh, my God, this is where this comes from, right? Um, I've been to parks that do this kind of thing. And it was like, right, this is the standard bearer. And now uh, all, most other parks are ruined for me. Uh, <laughs> I was certainly a certain local park that I don't expect to go to anytime soon because I'm just going to be like, yeah, why am I here again? You know, so um, things like that. But uh, yeah, so that was it. That's my experience. We're hitting the pumpkin time here very soon, uh, but you don't have your Apple Vision Pro on, so we don't have to worry about your uh, head turning into a pumpkin. No. <laughs> I'll be I'll be I'll be safe for another day. We haven't done anything. Uh, I you know what? Hey, real quick, since I didn't since we didn't really do a true uh middle of the show break here, I do want to give a really quick shout out to our Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash awesome cast. Uh, this is going to be the easiest show notes since we talked about three things today. Uh, but anyways, thank you to our friends at the patreon.com slash awesome cast, coffee club level, Cynthia Klosky, fan of the show level, Michael Fedor, Matt Weller, John DeGore, and Dave Potter, spouse of Bruce Julia Fair at Bruce Julia Fair dot com. What are you checking my work over there? No, I'm just going along with it. There you go. We need a jingle. We need a jingle you for that. You know, what well, you, you know. Dave, you need to reach out. Jingle to me for that, yes. You need to. You, you, no, I'm not going to jingle you. That's dirty. That's the wrong show. Um, you didn't talk to Kid Metal about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> you go, he'll help you out there. He'll help you out there. He's like, you know, that'd be a, that'd be a fun one. I'll have some homework. I actually you. saw. I ran into him a few. I heard he texted me. Yep. But your kids going to the same um, school function or something, right? Yeah, they were both into Odyssey of the Mind. His kid goes to Northgate. Christopher goes to. Uh, Keystone Oaks. Ooh, are they competitors? The, key, the competition was wait, a KO. Wait, wait, are you? Are do we have awesome cast kids button heads over Odyssey of the Mind now? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I, I guess you. Well, they're in. His ones in, I think, a, a upper division, but yes, they will. They will. There will be a Clash Royale. Oh man, an awesome cast Clash Royale. Make sure, uh, make sure uh, uh, that we'll get them on before the next time they they go ahead. His kid, his actually kid advanced. Nice. Um, to state so congrats to him there you go shouts god thank you so much chill let's go so good to, i love that you made up for your time away by you know becoming a floating head you've uh uh ascended apparently uh in the digital realm you've been uploaded into the mainframe um i'm trying to remember more tron references the, the singularity the sing. you are the singularity now <laughs> Thank you so much. At Chilla on the Twitter, Chilla579 on most of the other social medias. John Chilla on the Facebook. Yes, and of course, Dave Proctor. I already gave you a shout out. I'm at Sorgatron on all the things. Yes. No, just saying thank you. Okay. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, Thank you for popping in here. And uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for uh, 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 tuning in to the awesome cast, including my mom out there. Uh, We'll be uh, working on uh, looking for a payment plan so you can get a uh, uh, um, Vision Pro. Like you can they, put... they have a payment plan for the Vision Pro. And not only that, they have a Vision plan. This is the first device that I bought Apple Care. Ever. Whoa! First Apple Care. Because you're and, afraid you're going to headbutt only, something? To, to, to explain, I saw like where some of the, the center was cracking, and that like made me super ner- nervous. Um, there's a like you can go on a payment plan for the Apple Care. 
Oh, good. Oh, good. That says anything about it. Oh, good. I mean, I already do from my phone. That is about roughly half the price of in the end of it. I'm still paying for my 13. That's why I don't have a 15 right now. So, anyways, uh, Amanda says you can take the magic band and put that put that part into a keychain. I didn't. Oh, this comes off. Or does it like slide? Does the oh, yeah. does there's the band a, yeah, slide there's off? A, there's a little screws. I think I saw something about removing that for some reason. Like you want to take that one part off. So, uh, oh, and there's also an Easter land that Crane acts as mom. Uh, so, anyways, uh, <laughs> yes, there was a lady in the tramp. That was later in the picture. They didn't get to that. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week, and stay tuned on the Patreon as we talk about. I had a note here. We'll figure out what that is later. That's my piece. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron.